Hi everyone, my name is John from American Eagle Plumbing. Today we're going to be installing a washing machine. And I know that installing an appliance or a washing machine seems pretty basic, but this video is for a new homeowner or somebody who would like to just change out their own appliance and know that it's actually pretty simple. And so this video is just kind of a step-by-step -step process and I hope that uh, you follow along and you find it informative. All right, so the first step is to locate where your water shutoff valves are for your washing machine. So in this case, I already have them both off. Here's your cold, notated by the blue handle, and then your hot, notated by the red handle over there. So I would suggest grabbing a rag and a channel ox. And the purpose of the rag is just to catch the excess water that is in the old water lines. And I've already disconnected the old washing machine and the new ones in place. So the old hoses I have right inside this drain right here. And that's just number one as a placeholder. Number two is so I don't create a mess when I turn, take the hoses off. All right, so I got my rag in place and this hose loosened up so I can remove it hand tight. And that's gonna catch any excess water that's gonna come out of here. And then I'm just gonna lift this hose up so everything's gonna drain into the drain. I'll set this other end right in here so I can use my other hand to get the hot off. And we'll just repeat the process here on the hot side. The easier you can make it on yourself to clean up when you're all done, the better. It's better just to take a little extra time and grab what you need ahead of time, such as a rag or your channel locks to help you get those boogers loose. So no drips or very few. And we're gonna go ahead and empty this hose. Now we can take these hoses out and throw them away. When we install the new hoses, we're actually gonna be upgrading them to stainless steel. And we'll talk about that here in a minute. But as you can see, these hoses are rubber hoses. And what happens with these hoses when they go bad is they develop little cancerous bursts. They look like little balloons on the end of these hoses. And these hoses are very susceptible to bursting. And they're one of the major causes of flooding in homes. So when installing your new hoses, uh, it doesn't matter what you take, um, but we're gonna go with the hot side and just hand thread that. There's no reason to put any Teflon tape or pipe dope on the threads because on these hoses, they have built-in rubbers, so that's gonna create the seal. So initially, I'm just gonna hand tight, tighten the threads, and I'm gonna do that on both the hot and the cold. So I got new stainless steel hoses. It's always a great idea when you are changing out an appliance to upgrade and change those hoses because the hoses that were on the appliance were probably the same age as the appliance that you're taking out. So take, take the extra, extra time and extra little extra money to update those hoses to prevent a problem in the future. So I got those both hand tightened and I'm gonna go ahead and cinch them up with the channel locks. Just gonna give them about an eighth of a turn here to make them, make them tight. It's more of a quarter, I suppose. All right, so on the water supply connections, they are tight. Now, when installing the hoses to the back of your machine, there's little, there's ports on the back of this. And these ports that have hot and cold, so it's labeled. So make sure that you follow your hose from hot, which is typically it's on the left, all the way to the back of the washing machine, which is gonna, usually it's gonna have the, the word hot. So make sure it's hot to hot and cold to cold so you don't shrink it close. Now that we have the water lines connected, we're gonna go ahead and hook up the drain and get that installed. You don't wanna accidentally forget to do that, otherwise you for sure are gonna have a big flood. So we're gonna go ahead and hook that drain up. Now typically in most um, washing machines, you're gonna get this kind of horseshoe bend. And what this does, it properly allows your hose to sit nicely inside the drain so that it won't pop out. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the drain. It's taped from the back of the washing machine. Remove this tape. And then that way we're gonna be able to unclip it. And 
this is your dishwasher or your washing machine hose. And we're gonna just go ahead and install this through this horseshoe. And this just opens up and you wrap it around. And that just clips, clips right into place. And then what you're gonna do is push this back and make sure that that is connected. Now this already wants to kind of pop out. So either you can let it be or there's sometimes I like to use a zip tie to properly secure that or hold that so it doesn't um, it doesn't go. So in that case what I would do is there's a I would I'm gonna zip tie run my zip tie through the back of this connection and zip tie it to the water line so that it can't pop out. So I'm just gonna fit this right through here and go around the valve. So. Around, a little tricky. top of this connection. All right, so now my hose can't pop out. So that's secure enough where it won't pop out. So I can't hardly, I have to go through some effort to try to pull that out. So that way I know that when the pump discharges from the washing machine, it won't, it won't jump out. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the water on to the machine itself and verify that there aren't any leaks. So there's the cold. I'm gonna turn on the same way we're gonna turn on the hot. Just run my finger around the connections to make sure that again, there are no leaks and there's nothing that I have to address. So just taking that extra time can prevent um, cleanup or other issues down the road. All right. I'm John from American Eagle Plumbing. This has been a washing machine installation. I hope you found it helpful. Thanks so much.